Hello YouTube, today we're doing a tutorial on how to make your own game in Notepad, which is this little thing here, Notepad, the thing which comes on any Windows computer, where usually people just type blah, blah, poop, and then just like keep typing that over and over again until they get bored. And that's all people use it for, but did you know you can make a game in it? Probably not. So, today YouTube, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a game, a basic game, but still a game, in Notepad. A game which is a bit like this. Had a little nice loading screen. Start the game, enter my name. And it's got nice little questions. So yeah. That's the answer. Blah blah poop. Indeed. So by by the end of today, we will we will help have at least something decent in our progress to making a game. So let's get started. Okay. So so if you're running this, this will only work on Windows computers since we're going to be saving it as a .dot bat file, which I believe is a batch file. It's not not anything else. It's not like a digital format for a bat. That would be weird. Anyway, um, which which can only be run on Windows computers, but I will show you a way how to turn your bat file into a .exe file, like right there. You see that .exe on the end of putty? .exe, which which most computers run just like that. I'll, I'll I'll be showing you in a few tutorials time how to do that. Anyway, let's get straight in. Okay, so on your computer, on your keyboard, in fact, hit the Windows key, hold it down, and press R. This will bring up run, just a little box here, it's called run. Another way you can access it is from the start menu on on um, uh, Windows 7, Vista, U and XP I think. If you go into the start menu, there will be like a little uh, little pop window will pop up there to search it there. But on a Windows 8, you have to do it this way, search and type in notepad and we're going to go for the notepad. And if, and if you want to do it the runway, we go Windows key R, hit in Notepad like there, so Notepad, hit Enter, Notepad. Okay, so we're we're, we're, all, we're going to be programming in a very small space today, so I will make the video easy to see. But the first thing you want to type, or what you even do before that, is type, go to File, Save, um, Desktop, which is up here desktop save it to the desktop as um, quiz game because because we're, we're gonna be making a, making a quiz dot bat make sure you save it as type all files hit save done all right so now we're done first thing you need to type is at echo off basically what this does is it stops all of the commands from showing up and like um, so, so like, if you type the echo command, which displays a line of text, um, normally it on the command line it will say echo line of text, and then it will print un line of text underneath it, which is quite annoying. So at echo off just hides the little echo thing and just shows line of text. So at echo off, we know what that does now. Title, for example, you see here it says command prompt. Add the title. If you type title. And then, well, blah, which is, it will change the title to blah blah poop, which trust me is extremely useful in the computer world. So, yeah, type title, and let's give it a good name. Quiz game. That's good. <laughs> um, why don't I do a colour? Color. I'll put a list to all the command prompt color codes, but for this one we're going to be doing zero A because zero is nice. Okay, so we've so we've defined the title and the color of everything. So now let's give it some space and type menu. Yeah, menu. Um, CLS, which basically clears the whole screen of any old text. 
So say we've got command prompt here, we start going blah, um, title, poop. Um, if you type CLS, boom, it's all gone. So that's very useful. We type clear screen. Um, if, if you're wondering what these are called, um, this, it, some people call them cyber locations, some people call them blocks of code. I just call them blocks of code since it's nice and simple. So we're, th this is the menu area. We're going to have the menu in it. We're now going to type echo. Welcome to the menu. So there we go. We have a little nice menu screen there. Have some underlining. Simple. Echo command would explain that. Print prints this on the screen. Simple. Um, pause. Echo. From here, you can do more some more underlining. Uh, echo dot, which basically just puts a blank line, doesn't doesn't show the dot or anything. You can one. You can start. Met. You can either start, and two, you can go to info, or echo three, or uh, you can exit. That used to be a two. Derp. Pause. Um, yeah, so echo. So now we've done that. We're going to create the little mechanism which reads what they type being the user t enters either one two or three and we're just going to create that so if ooh, let's, we need to do this first set p um menu choice you can put anything there but just remember you to edit it later equals go down a few if percent menu choice percent equals or equals equals actually we let's do eq eq that that also works but for this we're just going to do eq equals equals one and go to start game okay let's explain this now um pause basically um it puts a line of text on the screen saying press any press any key to continue and the moment they press any key to continue well as you guessed um basically it just carries on from wherever what's after the pause so yeah simple um set p this creates a new variable which is like a little um uh area for data to be stored so menu choice is the data to be um is the name of the thing which, which stores the data and if they put one one will go into the data thingy variable um, two will go there, go there as well. And so will three. So, but so if the variable equals one, which they will type, go to start game. If menu choice percent equals two, go to info. And if menu choice equals three, exit. Simple. Uh, the go to command simply uh, directs the program to one of these. So, so if I typed uh, if w if menu choice equals equals one, go to menu. It, in, instead of starting the game, it will just go right back to the menu and run it all again, which is trust me extremely annoying if you get one of those bugs in your code again. Uh, two will go to info and exit. You guessed it. It makes your computer explode. No joking. Um, it exits. Yeah. <laughs> So let's save that quickly. Boom, save. Or you can just do Control S on your keyboard. Control S. Okay, that also saved. Um, and if they don't type in anything and they decide to, I don't know, type in the letter A, I'm gonna go to menu, which will uh, make them go to right back to the menu again if they don't put in one, two, or three, because we don't want them typing in like four or something and crashing our program. Because nobody wants their program to crash, funny enough. Anyway, once that's done, let's get let's start making 
info actually let's start making info since that's going to be more simple than the game info cls clears the screen color um zero b i have no idea what color that is and let's change the title to in machine on the quiz I can't spell information. So after we've done that, let's do pause. That's O pause. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, um, let's do echo. This quiz is is highly awesome. Please use at your own risk. Dun dun dun. To continue using this. Dot dot dot. Pause. CLS. And go to menu to continue using this game because it's a game right so copy all of this code down just copy it down i'll put it in the description what we did so far and this is episode one finishing off goodbye